Hey, I'm in here, back with some more Magic the Gathering, March of the Machine, The Aftermath, Epilogue Boosters, and we're gonna continue opening this, I believe. I think I'm more than, or I guess I think I'm at halfway done, considering, like, this only has 24, I believe, but, yeah, uh, so far, I'm, I guess I'm kind of, there's, like, no commons, which is, I don't know if the uncommon becomes a new common then, or something like that, but, yeah, uh, it's an interesting experience so far in terms of like the whole epilogue booster stuff kind of wish there was instead of like the the token card there'd be the art card but maybe i guess then if they add the art card it'll be priced more or something like that but all right oh there's something oh i guess that's like i don't know what to, what's that in the bottom but i guess that's the flap for this so anyways yep we got Six more here, and, and six more to go after this, and then we got the rest of the collector's box too, so, yep, uh, we're, we're just chugging on through, so, six packs, hopefully we get some cool stuff, I mean, we got, we got some cool stuff last time too, so, uh, let's see, what we got, alright, we got another gold forge Thopteryx, and like some of these, I really do remember. So um, just because I didn't uh, record just the the previous one. So uh, under city upheaval, we got Orborg scavengers. This seems new. Oh, it's rare. So two black. Whenever this enters battlefield or attacks, exile target card from a graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on this. And this has flying as long as the card exiled it has flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilant. Wow, that seems pretty nice. <laughs> And it gets a counter too, so yeah, that that's pretty nice. That, or I mean, to to me, that seems nice. Then we got another gold force stop Rex. This time it's a foil. Put that there. Ooh. Oh, I mean, we already got at least four or five copies of this. I mean, this is probably the second one of this card type, but or the art type, but. Uh, the Kenneris Royal Funeral, two white black. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile up to two legendary creature cards from your graveyard. You draw X cards and you lose X life for X is the greatest amount of value among cards exiled this way. Legendary spells you cast cost one less to cast for each card exiled with this. Alright. And we don't we don't even get a token, we just get the play, Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay. Alright, so I mean interesting start. Two rares. Can't complain about that, right? Oh, we got the Frexian Incubator token. All right, we got another Markov Baron. We got another Talarian Contempt. Oh, we got Rebuild a City. I think I got this before. Three black, red, green. Choose target land. Create three tokens that are copies of it, except they're three three creatures in addition to their other types, and they have Vigilance and Menace. All right, we got another Cosmic Rebirth foil. We also got another foil one too. Uh, we, ooh, we got a stained glass version of the Vesuvian Drifter. Two blue. Uh, flying, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. At the beginning of each combat, you may reveal the top card of your library. If you reveal a creature card this way, Vesuvian Drifter becomes a copy of that card until end of turn. Except as flying. Alright. And as you can see, the incubator with the Phyrexian. Alright. I mean, yeah, by now, since we've already seen a lot of the uncommons, we're just breezing through this, which may or not, may or not, be, not be good. <laughs> like, usually that would be the the commons, but uh, obviously we don't have commons in, in these packs, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know... It just, it just seems odd for... to have, like, a... I, I guess it's an epilogue set, so I guess it doesn't really need, like, a comprehensive set list, so... <laughs> It just needs cards with multiple different art styles and border types. Anyways, we got a campus renovation, a three red white. Return up to tar one target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Exile the top two cards from your library. Until the next, until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. All right, we got a copper coat vanguard. Each other human in control gets plus one plus zero and has ward one. We got Nahiri's resolve, three red white. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero and have haste. At the beginning of your end step, exile any number of non-token artifacts and or creature cards you control. 
or and or creatures you control, not creature cards. Uh, return those cards to the battlefield under the owner's control at the beginning of your next end step. Or at the beginning of your next upkeep. That's weird. <laughs> Usually it's at the next end step, but I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, reckless handling, one red. Search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle, and then discard a card at random. If an artifact card was discarded this way, it deals two damage to each opponent. Oh, nice. I I think this... There's only a few of these that have the this retro, or not retro, but I want to say Amonkhet style. I could be wrong. <laughs> in in that, the, like the Theros Amonkhet block. Was that in the same block? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, we got Samut Vizier of Naktamun. One red, green. First Strike Vigilance Haste. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, if that creature entered the battlefield this turn, draw a card. And it's a Mythic Rare. Oh, we got an elemental token this time. Nice. Alright. I mean, we're getting some good, or at least some, like, decent rares, I think. <laughs> like I said, it's all, like, based on a bubble. I still don't know, like, off the initial reading. I don't know compared to, like, it would make be in a good in a deck or not. Just reading the abilities, seeing the price, and or, like, the, the mana price, and this it just seems good or not, but... Anyways, we got another Animus Might, this time not foil, not special at all. Oh yeah, Feast of the Victorious Dead. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if one or more creatures die this turn, you may gain that much life and distribute that many plus one plus one counters among creatures you control. Yeah, I, I believe I've already seen that. And we got Rocco, Street Chef, uh, Red, Green, White. At the beginning of your end step, each player exiles a top card of their library until your next end step, each player May play the card they exile this way. Alright. Whenever a player plays a land from exile or casts a spell from exile, I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature and create a food token. Oh, so this one makes the food token. I mean, obviously it's, it's a street chef. So. Alright, we got a Talarian Contempt foil this time. Wow. I don't think I've... Actually, I think I might have seen this art style before from the Warmonger, but I don't... I would have remembered this border. This looks cool. <laughs> the Decoligan Warmonger, two red. Haste, when it attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a dragon card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Like, this looks so cool. It, like, if I was just, like, looking at this briefly and, not, like, not knowing it's from Magic, I, like, I would assume that this was from a different card game just because of how, how the border and the art style looks, but... Yeah, that looks so cool. And we got a treasure token. Alright, we got uh, two packs left for this video. Let's check them out. Alright. What do we got here? We got another blot out. And we got another reckless handling. Alright, for the rare, we got a spark rupture to white. This enters the battlefield, draw a card. Each place in the walker with one or more loyalty counters on it loses all abilities and is a creature with power and toughness equal to the number of loyalty counters on it. Okay. Oh, we got a deification. Although this one... This one doesn't look as epic as the one we got from the last video. But I mean, alternate art and whatnot. So, one white. As it enters the battlefield, choose a planeswalker type. Planeswalkers you control, the chosen type has hexproof. As long as you control a creature, if damage dealt to a planeswalker you control of the chosen type would result in all loyalty counters on it being removed. Instead, all but one of those counters are removed. So this is just damage in general, so not just combat damage. So if they decided to like lightning bolt it multiple times, I guess this works. <laughs> cool. Alright, now we got filter out, one blue blue. Return all non-creature, non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Ooh, we got Teferi's Talent. Nice looking emblem. You may activate loyalty abilities of planeswalkers you control on any player's turn, anytime you could cast an instant. Alright, one more pack to go for this video. And then we got six more to go in general after this. Alright. We got the Harness Snub Horn, which we've seen before. We got Filter Out, which we've just seen before. And I think this is our first rare land, I believe. 
the Dranith Ruins. Tap at Carlos. Two tap, put two plus one plus one counters on target non-human creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Okay. We got the Death Rattle Oni. In my opinion, the not as good art one. <laughs> I, I, like, I really like the other one. But I have a six black. Flash, this spell costs two less to cast for each creature that died this turn. When it enters the battlefield, destroy all other creatures that were dealt damage this turn. Okay. That is a... F Ooh, what? that is so... Shiny. I, the camera, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but like looking at it in real life, it's so, so shiny. Like, without no, looking at the rarity, it just it looks like a rare or a mythic rare, but I mean, yeah, campus renovation, three red white. Uh, up, return up to one target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Exile so to top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Yeah, this looks so cool. <laughs> Yeah, that, that looks so cool. And we got the Incubator uh, Phyrexian token. All right. I mean, not as many rares or mythic rares compared to last time, but I mean, it is what it is. I, maybe two, four, six. Actually, I think we got more, <laughs> honestly. I think we got more rares than or mythic rares than the previous video, but yeah, we got, I think, our first rare land from this set. We got an, an alternate art for a card we already have. Uh, what else? I mean, we got Samut, which is the mythic, alt, uh, like non-standard border and all that stuff. And we got another Canvas Royal Funeral, and yeah, I mean, yeah, seems pretty cool. I mean, only one mythic rare, but I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, we're almost done with the epilogue boosters. And then we still have the rest of the collectors. But I still don't know what to expect for the collectors because obviously there's not going to be like a serialized thing because the box doesn't mention it. So, I mean, otherwise, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, I can't believe, like, we also got two really, I mean, in my opinion, really good looking uncommons. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.